Alrighty, so uh, I'm going to talk today about Recruto Pearl 6. I'm Patrick Michaud. I'm the head uh, developer for Recruto Pearl 6. Our big release was Recruto Star, released in t July 2010. The most common observation made about Recruto Star as it was released then was that it was slow. It was really slow. I mean, it was really, really slow. We're going to see how slow it was. So how slow was it? Here's a basic while loop. Now, this while loop simply counts from 0 to 100,000, does some additions, and you time how long that takes. In the version of Recruto released in January 2011, that took 23 seconds. Now, if you want to compare that against Pro 5, Pro 5 does it in two hundredths of a second. That's a factor of a thousand difference. That's not exactly what we're hoping for. So let's try changing it to a for loop. For loop should be faster than a while loop, right? No. Right? <laughs> So kind of going the wrong way there. So let's just look at the basic startup time. All you want to do is start up the interpreter and start doing things. It takes six set tenths of a second. That's really not so good either. So we weren't very happy about that. So what should we do about all of this? We decided we needed to redesign many of the Recruto core internals. We needed to implement a cleaner object meta model, which we call six model, some better dispatch and type analysis, make it a core feature of NQP, which is the layer that we use to implement Recruto, and then we would be able to win. So. About the timings in this talk, there are lies, damn lies, and benchmarks. I'm giving you all in this talk, all right? You can argue about the timing methodology, the things I've chosen to time, but I think the end results are about the same. So improvements over time. We start in January 2011. Parrot made some improvements. We improved the method capabilities. We added some profiling. We got some better times. Then in, uh, so that brings us to July of last year. Then we did the big changes. We switched over to um, the new six model based NQP, a new regex engine, some better iteration support, a lot of new features, and we got some better times. That's as of January of this year. So that makes us happy. Since January, we've done even more. Better native type support, some bounded serialization, refactored map iteration, and we have still better times. You can see that the times are going the direction that we want. Um, you can also do things in native ints now. So if you just change the variables that you know are going to be integers and tell them that they're going to be ints with a lowercase i, then the compiler can optimize that to use registers directly, and you get even better times. So we've done quite a bit better. We're still not at Perl 5 sorts of speeds, <laughs> but the factor is a lot better. So here's some more license, some more benchmarks. When I see people talking about Recruto speed on the web and Reddit and everything like that, they talk about Recruto startup time. We've improved it, but we're still not anywhere close to what Pro 5 is able to do. But there are benchmarks, and then there are damned lies. So if you're just starting them up, yes, Recruto is slower than Perl 6. Let's suppose you want to do something interesting like actually use classes, right? So in Recruto, the time to start up is the same. If you load Moose, oh, wait a minute. Somebody's a little bit faster now. <laughs> Let's say you want to use signatures. Oh, wait. Hmm. Let's say you want to use multi-methods. Oh, my gosh. Do you want to use grammars? Oh. So you can't exactly compare apples to apples by just saying the startup time, because when Recruta starts, you're getting a lot more for free. The key contributors that have made this happen, the, the key culprits are listed here. There have been many more. Our bus number has gone way up over the last year, and I'm very, very happy about that. We have better source code. Here's an example of what the source code looks like now. So by language, uh, in January of last year, you can see that most of it was peer. That's parrot language. And then we also had a lot of it that's in Perl and another language that we call NQP. That's really Perl stick syntax there and a little bit of C. As of our next release, which will be next Tuesday, you can see we've gotten rid of almost all of the peer. Less than 2% of our code is tied to Parrot. Most of it is now in C. A lot of it is in Perl 6 and NQP, which is all Perl 6 syntax. The core meta model pieces are written in Perl 6, which is the way that we want to have it to be. Um, and in fact, the parts that are in peer, none of that is in the Recuto source itself. It's all in NQP. Um, there's a couple of other things we did over the past year in our spare time. Um, so where are we going from here? Uh, one of the downsides of going and redoing the internals as much as we did is we broke a lot of stuff. For people who were trying to use Recuto, that was really, really bad because you couldn't get things to work from one release to the next. We are committed. We're not doing that anymore. Um, now that we have gotten to the state with the new core in place, we're very comfortable. It will be stable going forward, so we're encouraging people to come and look at us again, and we promise that the next release won't break whatever you did this month. Um, we're building better on wraps and documentation. Uh, we've already started a Perl doc equivalent. It's called P6 doc. It's out on GitHub. Uh, we're building user level guides and tutorials, and uh, we've got a features matrix that is really, really cool. So let me uh, see if I can pull that up. There it is. 
So if you want to know what's implemented and what's not in the spec, here are the two major implementations, Kudo and Nietzsche. If it's green, then that means we do it. And if it's orange or, or red, that means we don't. If you want to see an example of what we're talking about, it's the links on the side. It's really cool. Um, better packaging, more speed improvements, and enhanced libraries. Now, for all the better Don Ramps and documentation, we know the people currently working on Rakuto are the worst people at this. We want others to come in and tell us how to document things because we've been trying for three years and we failed utterly. So anybody who's interested in, in writing, you don't have to be a code hacker, we'll help you out. It's one of the most friendly places in the world is on Perl 6. So we need more contributors that aren't the people who know what's going on. We need documentation authors. We'd love to see more modules and applications. We need feedback. If you want to know where to start, you can go to Perl6.org. There's tons of links there. You can join us on Freenode.